and welcome back to Let's Play Castlevania Limit of Innocence. I'm Puppix, and you might be wondering what I'm doing back here. Well, remember that door I showed you in the second video? We can do something here now. But first, we have to go down a gigantic spiral staircase. I suppose it sets atmosphere, but it's really kind of tedious. There's not much to do down here, so I guess it makes sense. What was that? What is that? That is not a good sound. Okay, were, were all these stairs really necessary? Ooh, this is a creepy room. There's a high potion if you want it. You can get that earlier, but I skipped out on it just because. It's also a save point. It's a lot of blood. What's that? Something moving down there. With the unlock jewel, you can open up this. If you didn't have it, you couldn't get past it. Inside here is the prison of eternal staircases. Seriously. It's like I'm playing Mario 64 and don't have enough stars. Except there's no way to glitch my way down to the bottom. And you have to listen to that creepy groaning instead of that repetitive music. I'm not sure which one's better or worse. Okay, I'm getting sick of these stairs. Seriously. Stop it. Please? Oh, hey, a boss door. Wonder what's behind this? Well, nothing to do but go inside. Not whip the door. This charming fellow is the forgotten one. He's weak to ice, so put on that ice whip. There are three phases to this fight. For the first one, we have to smack away at these orcs. Watch out, because he can bleed on you, and that will poison you. Try to take out these maggots, because they can attack you, and they will curse you. So you can't do any combos. They're really, really annoying, because there gets to be, like, a metric butt-ton of them. And I'm pretty sure this is the only reason the game is rated M, aside from maybe the succubus. Seriously, can I just hit his organs already? Come on. Ow. Look at all those guys. I'm just gonna get out of potions. This has got to be painful. Come on, let me hit his organs. Come on. I don't usually have this much trouble hitting them. Oh jeez, they're falling off. Ow. Curse potion's very useful. Oh, come on. Ow. That right there was the combination of the white crystal and the crystal sub-weapon. Other than the white orb. I can't speak. Even when fighting a giant rotting corpse thing, I can't speak. It's almost like a 3D version of Beelzebub from Symphony of the Night. So it has more steps. These stupid maggots. I think the maggots do count as a bestiary entry, so make sure to kill one. If you don't accidentally kill one. What is this, his heart? Or is it some other kind of organ? Jeez! Jeez! Stop! I didn't mean to put on that, but... Oh, they're immune to that. I mean my sub-weapon thing. Lame. I'd appreciate it if you would all go away and leave me alone. Jeez! Holy crap! It's off! Thankfully, when you kill his organ, whatever that one is, they all die. And now you never have to deal with the maggots again. But this is his second phase! He's now gonna try to smack you around with his hand. Because his other one's gone. That can't be pleasant. Ow. 
You can damage his chest, but his hand will take more damage, I believe. Come on. Yeah, that wasn't anywhere near where I was standing. What are you, stupid? I think I made him mad. Yeah, he can swing his fist at you, either from the left or right, and it swats you around. It's pretty painful. You jump at the right time, not like that. You can jump over it. It's a fairly long and drawn-out boss fight, but ultimately, I don't think it's that tough. If you have a bunch of healing items, it's you'll probably be fine. That's what you're supposed to do. And not that. Seriously, stop hitting me. It's not nice. It's only nice when I hit people. That's how I say hi. I think that would do more damage. Oh well. He actually has another attack that he didn't do in this recording, but he has this... He can squeeze his hand and it drops blood on you. Much like the blood in the first phase, it poisons you. Excuse me, I don't appreciate being attacked and I'm trying to heal. Admittedly, that one was my fault. Yeah, yeah. Spot your hand around, see if I care. I don't. It's got some pretty cool music, too. Like, ominous, and it's got that singing lady in the background. And that was not nice at all. Hurry, I'm trying to explain your boss fight, and you're punching me in the face. What? I clearly jumped over that. Friggin' hitboxes. Yeah, see if you can swat me now. Like that fly buzzing around your head you can never get. Except I kill you. And I thought he was ugly before. And now we are at the final phase. His face. He can roar and cause rocks to fall from the ceiling. And he can use Hyper Beam. Those rocks stay in the ground, so you can get behind them to avoid the Hyper Beam. Or you can just use the Invincibility Jar. Do not get hit by Hyper Beam. I think even with all my HP upgrades and the best armor, it can kill me in two hits. If you're playing on the hard mode, it will probably instant kill you. Get behind the rock like that. And then just get back to laying into his face. Invincibility Jar is so much fun. You know, you don't appear to have a throat. Like, your mouth just ends. The rocks do take damage and will crumble after a few hits, so keep, out, keep that in mind. When he roars like that, new rocks spawn. Yeah, 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 Hyper Beam. I've dealt with your horrifying Gen 1 incarnation. This is nothing. And die. For defeating him, you get the Black Orb. For yet more sub weapon combinations. But next time, we'll be taking it to the final boss. Yeah, you couldn't see what that did. Oh well. So yeah, next time. Final boss, an ending. I'm Buppix. See you then. Bye.